up was the loser thinking a challenge match between us and the belly bites on Sunday. Sure, that's not enough time to prepare. Sure, it's only a bit about fun. Fun? When was it ever fun between us and the belly crowd? Never. The last time we had a challenge match between the belly crowd was 1966, the under 12 final. And I should know because I captained the team the same day. He loves this spit. He tells this lovely. Dan, it was a cold, old, wintry old day and there was a breeze blowing that. They would have brass monkeys cross their knees. Well, the belly crowd were playing with the breeze behind them downhill in the first half. At the halftime whistle, it was 7 13 to 8 goal and 8 pints. Dan, we were two pints behind when the wind changed. But well, there was a Yale Force 9 wind blowing into our face in the second half, I'd say. And that's when it started to snow. Dan, what's wrong with you? If it was 1966, that would have made you 16. Yeah. Oh, how could you play for the under 12s? Sure, why couldn't I? Sure, the Rhine twins on the, on the belly side were doing their intercept, and their goalie was married with two children, and there was about seven on the belly team that were playing overage, and on our side was only myself. And the great Frank Milan! And the great Frank Milan, who was, how would you say, borderline. Hey, what happened? Well, two teams were never going into the final minute of play. And myself and the great Frank Milan were defending the small parallelogram when the belly bites descended upon us with all hopes. Come on! Yeah. And I was the first to go down. I took six of the belly bites with me. Woo! The great Frank Milan took two before I was able to hobble back and defend with him against the last two belly bites who were standing. The Ryan twins. The Ryan twins. Who were at least 22 and a half years of age if they were a day. I thought you said they were doing the intercept. Another day stayed back a few years. Anyway, 30 stone of the belly boys descended down on top of the great Frank Milan, who had a hold of the slitter and wasn't letting go of it. Well, I think it was the eldest boy of the twins. He had him a clatter across the back of the head. And the great Frank Milan let out a cry. He loves this bit. That would rent the heavens asunder. That would rent the heavens asunder. Well, his right eye popped out of his socket, and if it did, then the other one of the Ryan twins booted over the bar for the winning point, just as the ref was blowing up the final whistle. And the eye of the great Frank Milan to this day is in the Barry Trophy room. The bastards. Bastards. Dangerous game, all right. I don't know what you know. Oh, by the way, you wouldn't do that in the field of play. 